Hello YouTube, the time has come for the uh, first para vlog and uh, my first flight of 2020 uh, post lockdown and uh, and I'm just super excited to, to share this flight with you. Um, I was quite nervous on this flight because last year uh, I had quite a, um, a bad uh, engine out, uh, blew a coil while I was flying and it didn't end up um, being a very good situation to be in so I was a little bit nervous but uh, we bit the bullet and uh, and I wanted to share it with you and uh, I've recorded it on the new the new GoPro 8 and uh, super excited it's, uh, it's been a dream of mine for some time now uh, quite anxious to uh, to get this video out there so uh, it's quite a um, it's quite an organic video I wanted to keep it quite short and organic I didn't want to overcomplicate things but uh, yeah just have a look what do you think enjoy We are in. Oh, shit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, first flight after. Oh, must be six months, seven months. September last year, I had uh, had big issues with my. Hold on, catch my breath. Uh, I had some big issues with my engine. I blew a coil and forced me to land in a, in a field, oh, a lovely field, but uh, I seem to have upset a uh, gamekeeper, I think I landed near his birds, couldn't be helped, but he, uh, he wanted to take it out on my wing and threatened to uh, like see with a knife or I don't know but uh, you know got a nice bloke so this launch was a little bit nervous I was a little bit nervous but look at this view so there's two power stations I don't think you can see them from but that's where we're heading I'm taking off on work so I'll show you on the map I'm gonna head right between both of the power stations and then come back, and that should be about an hour. Uh, we're not doing anything, anything crazy. Uh, I've just wanted to get comfortable in the air again. Get back at it, it's a little bit bumpy. Uh, I'm just gonna enjoy it, let's, let's go and enjoy it. So I've taken off from the lovely town of Worksop. Uh, kind of between Sheffield and Nottingham. So I do want to try. I put a smoke system on this. I'd love to try it. So we're going to do that now. We're going to make a lovely little smoke circle. Let's see if it works. Might work. Might not. Try it. Here we go. Blow some smoke, ladies and gentlemen. I'm blow a big smoke circle. Obviously, not as big as Tucker Gartz, but 
that guy could blow circles. <laughs> That's the best thing in the world. That is absolutely amazing. Look at that. <laughs> yes, mate. Yes, mate. Woo! <laughs> I'm empty in the whole tank. God damn it, yes. I think that's it. I think that's empty. I think that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's be risky. Let's get the old phone out for some photos. We're gonna drop button. I want to make sure we're recording. Yeah, we're recording. Right. And try not to drop my new phone. I just bought the new Samsung S20 Ultra. I've tethered it. Let's go a bit higher, see if we can get rid of this turbulence. Go through it. <laughs> so that is the lovely town of Retford, you can see just in front of us. And we're going to go try and go around it a little bit. Oh, let's see Virgin Express train. We're going to go around the outskirts of Redford. I'm going to get as close to the power stations as I dare before we head back. I've only got about an hour and a half of fuel in today. I didn't want to set up heavy. This is lovely. I don't know if you can see on that, if you have a look to the left. I'm gonna have to have a look what that is when I get back home, but it looks like fire. I don't know if it's controlled, if it's a controlled uh, fire. Uh, but it's quite substantial. <coughs> oh, miles away from COVID-19 up here. I think I'm safe. Let's see if we can get my friend Daz. He's on the uh, he's on the radio, and I'm being ignorant because I got it turned off. But let's uh, let's uh, let's see if we can get him. Daz, come in, Daz. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but he's uh, just beeping. I can't quite make you out, but like I said, I'm, I'm over, I'm, I'm not far away from them near power stations that were discussed. Uh, I'm about, maybe, I don't know, five mile out. Let's do a circle, let's, uh, let's uh, see if I can see my buddy. Oh, uh, look at the sun. Oh my lord. Look at that. I'm glad I brought my sunglasses. That is glorious. Do you know what? Let's use tips. Just a tip. It's a 
amazing. It's like power steering when you use tips. Okay, that's a bit feel I cut down a little bit because my back's getting a bit warm. I don't know if that's my battery or not. It's all in my mind, lad. It's all in my mind. It's not hot. Do you know, it's, it's strange when you rebuild an engine and you're looking for all the little problems and you feel like there's something there when there really isn't. So we're going to have a head back now. I don't want to overdo it for the first flight, so we're going we're gonna to double back. A little bit windy, so I think we have a southerly wind. We are cruising at 16 miles per hour. I don't know how true that is. Do you know what? I've been looking at the altitude wrong. We're at a thousand feet. Durr. Let's get a little bit more higher. We are grabbing very slightly ever so slightly. I think that's just because there's a little bit of a wind going on. A bit of wind situation. We have flown 20 kilometers so far. And the airspeed's a little bit less, so we're doing 11, so it's going to take us a little bit longer to get back, I think. But it's fine, there's plenty of roads. I've got plenty of fuel to make it back. If, uh, if it pushes on to sunset, we've got just under an hour till official sunset, and we can fly half an hour after, so I think I've got plenty of time to make it back. So we're all good. This is just absolutely glorious. I can't stress it enough. This is just, re you know, I've had, I had such a bad experience with my last uh, with my last flight. It kind of put me off. I mean, there's been flyable days um, that, you know, I've made excuses. I, I kind of just said, you know, I put them in. I could have, I could have, I could have rushed the situation up a little bit if I really wanted to, but uh, I wanted to just give myself a bit of time, reflect and make sure everything was just absolutely perfect before I joined again, you know, before I joined the, joined the club again, come back up here. Um, but, you know, we had COVID, you know, with coronavirus, we've not been able to fly for a while. Uh, the CAA, uh, which is the authority in the UK, that governs us. But, uh, well, they didn't ban us from flying, but they strongly advised us that we shouldn't fly. So they kind of let, they let us govern ourselves a, a little bit. And uh, I, I was sticking to the rules. We've had some such nice weather, it's been such a shame that we've not been able to fly. Uh, but last week they uh, lifted the restrictions after after the uh, PM did, a, did an announcement on, uh, on, on the new guidelines. And, uh, and so we're allowed to come out as long as we stay two meters apart from each other. Which is fair enough, I think you can safely say I'm a bit further than two metres apart up here. And, uh, so, yeah, here I am, look at this. I'm tempted to just get back to their field and just do a few circles until the sun comes down. It's just absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Stuff dreams made of, folks. You know what we're going to do? My mate, PPG Gorilla, eight, you know, Rick Davies, is, uh, you know, I've kind of been talking to him since day one, really, since my first flight. He noticed a video on my YouTube of my very first flight a few years ago. And 
such a guy. He, he made a comment on there, and I'll never forget. Um, he's got the same surname as me, and he said, you know, uh, brother from another mother calls me. Just, just, just uh, look up to him. I do, and uh, and I promised him that I'll be making videos. And it's been taking such a long time. I've been messing around at home, doing little videos. I've got a studio. I've spent a ton of money doing a studio and getting the cameras finally. And uh, and I think I should probably send him a message just to kind of see what he's up. Let's we'll see. Thursday, there he is. Let's send him. Let's send him a message. It might send. Well, let that said, we've got bad internet here. Strangely, to say how high we are, you'd have thought there'd be no interference, but. So, so we've, we've, we're in a bit of a tough spot here because there's a lot of water on the ground. It's not really. I'm, I'm quite high. I'm not worried about landing if I have an inch out in it. I think I've got plenty of landing out opportunities. But uh, never be too too careful. I've actually been making some uh, some little hook knives for the guys. Uh, you can see them on my eBay. I've got a little link in the description. But I actually make uh, 3D printed parts at home for the Paramount community. Uh, I make these uh, these throttle mirrors. You know, quite handy. Um, check your fuel. Some people don't like them. Some people do. A little bit like Marmite. I think they're quite a useful tool. I make hook knives. Uh, to, you know, cut your lines if you ever land in water. You know, everybody knows it's, it's not a situation you want to be in, tangled in lines, so. And also, I make some uh, line guys for the trike community. Uh, call them full horns, because that's what they look like. And uh, check them out. They're reasonably priced. They all come with a P uh, they all come with a paranormal PPG sticker, vinyl sticker. And you'll be helping the channel because all the funds that I make on my eBay uh, items are going into this channel. Um, you know, I've made enough to buy a GoPro. I've just bought a new GoPro 8. I'm using now and uh, some other bits and bobs. And uh, hopefully. We keep going. Let's keep going with it. Let's have a new power motor because I'm still flying a Powerjet V2, and it's a, an old beast. It is a loud, heavy, cumbersome, and that caused me more butt landings than I can remember. Um, I think you know Powerjet. They've learned a lot since they come up with this machine and the, and the original V1. Uh, they. They wanted to make something at the time that imitated paragliding. So the the uh, the harness is in, is it's in quite a reclined position, and with that great way flying, comfortable, downside, an absolute. F I'm not going to lie, I'm swearing. It is the worst machine to land. It. Uh, it, it's really hard to land on your feet, and I'm sure we'll see you when I come into land, but we might have an issue, I don't know. Does it matter if I land on my butt or not? I don't really matter. Fine. If I land on my butt or my face, it'll make good content for YouTube. So I will take I will take the uh, I'll take the I'll take it on the chin. Look at the power stations. It doesn't look like we've gone very far, does it? It's taking a little bit longer to get back because I think I'm flying straight into the wind. And I did anticipate it. We've got maybe 10 mile an hour. So I flew out downwind, coming back upwind, so it's going to take a little bit longer. But uh, I think I think it was a good call to turn around at the right time. I think we're going to, we're going to land just on time. But, uh, we're just going to enjoy it. Let's enjoy it.
cool, got a bit of turbulence coming over this quarry, building site, whatever it is. Or is that? It's not a quarry. It's been warming up all day and I think it's kicking off a bit of thermal activity. Kylo Glee, I told you. He is the man. He is the meteorolo meteorology man, as I call him. He knows. Well, he does not know about weather. It's not worth knowing, folks. Guys, check out the throttle. I can't believe I've not shown you this yet. 3D printed throttle from uh, oh, Twisted Rise, as it calls the uh, company. As Moo Smith, his name. He designed this uh, 3D printed throttle with cruise control. Set your arms, turn a little lever. Oh my god, cruise control. Costs next to nothing in plastic to make. Um, I've used some extra strength PLA from a company called Sea Tree. It's really strong, flexible as well, so I'm not worried about breaking it. And, uh, and you know, if I break it, I'll just make another one. <coughs> I kind of like it. Save myself an absolute fortune compared to buying manufacturer brand throttles. It's comfortable, it's practical. Maybe it's a bit, you know, chunky. And it's not really that chunky. But uh, it's got a starter on the bottom on this one. He made me a, a dual start version after I asked him to because, well, the, uh, the Project V2 is only electric start. It doesn't actually have uh, a full start option. Um, so, um, I found this. I printed it off. I wanted to try and modify it myself, but I sent him a message like, hey, dude, do you mind making a, uh, an electric start version? And he did within about, I don't know, an hour. Absolute genius. And, uh, and here we have it. And uh, I love it. I love it. I'm actually looking uh, into designing my own for the uh, eBay shop. And uh, I have an engineer working on one. Engineer, designer. Uh, that'll be aesthetically better, but work the same. And. Uh, I'll keep you posted when that comes out, but I'm excited. I'm excited for that one. We are not penetrating very, very well. We're doing 12 miles an hour. Oh, that's not too bad, that's not too bad. I'm gonna get a bit more altitude because we're coming down a little bit here at 500 feet, so let's get back up a little bit. Okay, we're going to trim out. See if we can get a bit more speed. Probably should have done this before. Well, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's try and get some penetration going. You shouldn't use your brakes when you're trimmed out, really. So we're going to tip steer it. Photo ops, we've got to do it, haven't we? We've got to take photos. That's the whole point. If you, didn't, if you don't take a picture, it didn't happen. Oh, the sun's setting over glorious works up. How nice. Ooh. Blues and twos, I can see it in the distance. Oh, sink, sinky. Some sink going on there. Let's trim in. Might just come in for a one. Let's trim all the way in. Oh, it's that one. Let's do this one. Yep. It's a little bit bumpy, folks. It's 
a little bit more free. Let's see if I can land on my feet. Let's get out. Oh, he's around my knackers. It's around the knackers, folks. It's around the balls and it's quite tight. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We're nearly at the fence. There's Turbo setting up for the last flight. He's having a quick one, let's watch him. He always nails him. The man's a genius. His wing looks like a butterfly. Here he goes. Yes, Turbo, yes, sir. And he's up. <laughs> Woo! Well done, mate.